Now that we know a little bit about symbols, we can move on to applying color effects, blend modes, and filters to our Flash projects. These three options basically allow us to create special effects for our projects, everything from color changes to glows to shadows and so on. So to begin, let's download the example file that I've included with this lesson. Just simply click on the link in your details box to download it. And once you've done that, let's open the file by going to File, Open. Choose the file from where you saved it and click Open. Let's start with the color effects first. With color effects, you can apply them to either graphic or movie clip symbols. What we have on the stage here are two movie clip symbols. So to begin, let's click on the orange sphere with our selection tool. You now have access to the color effect panel in your properties inspector. Click on the drop down menu next to style to choose from four different types of styles. So let's start with the brightness option. From here, if we adjust the brightness, for instance, if we make it greater than zero, you'll notice that the orange sphere turns white, or at least starts to turn white. This is because we are adjusting the brightness of the symbol. And if we bring it down below zero, we can make it darker. So without having to go into your symbol, let's say you need to make something darker, or let's say you're one of your characters who you make a symbol enters a dark cave or a dark castle, you could just adjust the brightness of the symbol to kind of give the atmosphere effect that he's in a darker area instead of going in and altering the symbol and doing all that. This is just, you know, an idea of what you could do with that. There's many different things you could do with this, obviously. With tint, we have a similar effect here where we can adjust the strength of a certain color, actually, instead of just white. So when you select tint, you have access to a color box here where you can choose what color you want to apply to this symbol. So let's just choose a green color for this demonstration. And from here, you can adjust the overall strength of the tint. So if we, of course, bring it up and go make it go higher, the more green the symbol will be and then zero will make it so that the tint isn't on it at all. And with the other options here, you can adjust the color so that there's more red in the color, there's more green or less green in the color, and so on. It's just basically another way to select your colors. Advance allows us to do a combination of all three of these, brightness, tint, and alpha. So you could apply a tint and a brightness to this using alpha if you so choose. But finally, let's specifically look at alpha. If we click this, alpha basically allows us to make a symbol transparent. And as you can see, I have it at 50% and half of the sphere is basically visible. You know, it's 50% visible. So of course, the higher I go with this, the more we can see. I have it at about 80% here and you can still see that there's still some transparency there and we can see underneath it. Of course, if we went all the way to zero, it would be invisible. So those are some things we can do when working with the color effects.